Just because it's designer does not mean that it's cute. channel and today i'm gonna be doing my unpopular opinions and i asked you guys on my instagram so if you don't follow me on there make sure you follow me there it's gonna be right here you see it you see it. Um, i don't i thought i had a lot but it's not really that much so first one is mcdonald's should have been canceled a long time ago but you guys are not ready for this conversation yeah mcdonald's it hits sometimes i had mcdonald's in like four years i had like a drink from them the slushy was good i'm not even gonna lie but something about the box saying now 100 percent real chicken when i got chicken nuggets just don't sit right with me so that's the reason why they should be canceled but we're not gonna talk about that the next one is just because it's designer does not mean that it's cute the Balenci Aga little toe thing, the toe heel where you can see the toe, that is so ugly. Like, who told y'all that was cute? I'm going to put a picture right here if you don't know what I'm talking about. Those are so ugly. Like, come on. Strict parents make sneaky kids. Think about it. Think about how much ki uh, kids, you know, with the uh, strictest parents. Think about how well they are. So, if you're a parent and you're watching this, you being strict on your kid is just making them worse. Think about it. The minute that you let them free or whatever, they go somewhere, they're going to be wild because they're like, oh, this is my only chance. So I just got to go off. So don't be strict on your kids. It's just really going to hurt you more than them. But we're not going to get into that. Apple watches are just for decoration if you don't go nowhere. This watch right here, I don't wear it. It just stays in my room and i'll wear it like i'm going to wear if i'm doing something i don't wear my watch in the house half of the time is dead i think it's dead now it is so what's the point it's really just the way to make nowhere but if you're like using it every day if you like really want it then get it but i'm telling you if you had that on your christmas list you don't you you're not going nowhere you don't really see yourself using it, don't get it. It's just a waste of money. Ask for something else, to be honest. It's cute, but it's a waste of money. You are going to hate me for this. Milk with cereal is okay, but I don't eat milk with my cereal all the time. I'd rather just eat my cereal plain. But if you could drink a glass of milk by itself, that is disgusting. I am so sorry. That is nasty. A lot of people have their opinions about this one, so I'm gonna just say it. Like, I be watching videos and people be like, uh, college is just a waste of time, a waste of money. It's gonna set you up to work under somebody. But if we think about it, you should never just have one plan. Because let's say you don't want to go to college because right now your business is... You never know what could happen tomorrow. So you depending on that one little business that you have. It's not, I'm not going to say it's not going to get you nowhere, but you should always have more plans. Like, you shouldn't always just have a plan A. That little business that you have, yeah, it's doing good now, but you don't know what will happen five years from now. Say something happens to your business, you can't go apply for a job because, well, a job that's going to maintain your the life you're living already because you don't have a college education not saying you need college but i'm saying that it's talked down upon a lot more than it should be college i'm in high school so i'm not saying that you should like obviously it is a lot of money but it shouldn't be talked down upon as it is because at the end of the day you can get an experience from it you can learn new things you can meet new people you can get a jump start in your career and everybody's talking about college is to get you work under somebody. No, it's not. You could work on somebody and you could be a what the face. Yeah, this, the people that's making the most money right now didn't go to college. But are you the people making the most money now? Are you them? Are you, are you Bill Gates? No. So go to college. Stop. But you don't really need to if you don't want to. I'm just saying. 
that it's not as bad as people say. Like, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's not as bad. Like, I think people just hype it up just because nobody wants to go. She only acts like that because she's getting paid. If you were getting paid to act the fool, you'll keep doing it, right? If somebody said, walk in front of her mirror and you'll get paid, you'll keep walking in front of the mirror. Am I right or am I wrong? Tell me, if everybody stopped watching her, everybody stopped watching what she was doing, where she was at, all of that stuff that y'all be doing, because I don't keep up with her. If putting money in her pocket, she would stop. But y'all don't think like that. Y'all gotta think of stuff in the business aspect. A Boogie is underrated. I'm not saying that just because he's my favorite rapper or artist or whatever. I'm saying that because, yeah, he had his recognition during the whole DTA, all of that. He had his recognition. But after that, I don't know what happened. The old albums hit different than they do now. But y'all can't expect them to just be sad. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. So I did the little um thing on my Instagram. And one of my friends said, pineapple belongs on pizza. No, that is nasty. What are you doing? Pineapple should not be on pizza. What do you have going on? Somebody said waffles. I mean, waffles hit better than pancakes. This is what I got to say. I like both of them, but pancakes, something about a nice, fluffy, homemade Aunt Jemima's pancake hit way different than an Eggo waffle or a Belgian waffle. So I'm going to just have to go with pancakes. Pancakes is way better than waffles. But now if we're talking about the frozen ones that you put in the oven or toaster oven or whatever, I don't eat frozen pancakes, so I wouldn't know. But the Eggo waffles, they be good. It's a nice little breakfast on the side. This is what I was talking about in the last one. No one, I don't care who you are, should only have, no one should only have one source of income. If one source of income, I'm talking about like, okay, if you have a job, that one job should not be where all your money's coming from. I'm not saying get five jobs. I'm just saying you shouldn't have one source of income because you never know. Especially now, how stuff is happening with the whole pandemic and all of that. I just have one source of income because, for example, many people lost their job. If people had more than one source of income, as they were. And it's not nobody's fault because nobody knew it was going to happen. But that was just a lesson that you should not have one source of income because, like, when you're making money in your sleep, you just get, don't even realize that. Like, you gotta, like, realize how you could, like, do stuff. Like, you shouldn't just have one source of income. It is 2020. There is so much ways. Zodiac signs are excuses. Y'all be posting them little zodiac signs. Those are just excuses. If somebody says you're dramatic, you shouldn't say, well, I am a so-and-so. What does it have to do with your actions? Like, y'all be using that thing for everything. Like, I be knowing, like, a little bit of stuff because I'm an Aquarius. But I be knowing, like, little stuff about my zodiac sign. But y'all be, like, into the sun ray from the stars and the stars away from planet and the planet away from Jupiter. What what are y'all doing? <laughs> like, what? I be like, what in the world? Like, are you an Aquarius from the from Jupiter or from Saturn? Are you 30 seconds away from Saturn? What time were you born? What does this have to do with me? Like, y'all be using them things as so much excuses. Like, it's not even funny. Like, the minute you tell somebody, oh, so-and-so, so-and-so. Well, you know, I'm a, you know, she's, you know, he's a... What does that have to do with what you're doing? Like, y'all just be making up stuff. Like, not making up stuff, but, like, y'all just be using that too much. And it's so annoying because it's like, the minute something go wrong, well, I am a so-and-so. What does that have to do? Like, y'all be using those things as excuses. Don't hate me for this one. Before it's investors are so annoying. Like, get your money. 
But there is no reason why every time I open my Instagram, I should see 325 change your whole life. I am so tired of that. And it's like, nobody wants to change your life for 325. If they wanted to, they would be under you, like you said, two days ago or a couple hours ago. Nobody wants to change your life for 325. And I see the 325 isn't working because half of y'all are at a hundred dollars. Get your money up, but I don't care. I don't want to be your investor or your mentor or mentee. I don't want to be that. Please leave me alone. I don't want to see that. Don't follow me. If you're gonna say for its investor, I don't want to give you my 325 to change my whole life. I'm good. If you didn't try something new or start something new during COVID, what are you doing? Like you had, I think it was seven months. We're still in it, but I'm talking about like when everything really shut down. It was like seven or six months. We had seven months and you didn't do nothing. You didn't read a book. You didn't learn something new about yourself. You didn't get a dog, get a cat, get something. You didn't do nothing new. Yeah, you need to go fix that young man the world needs to shut down for two weeks because yeah everything that's happening right now i'm telling you if y'all if we would just shut down like everything closed like every single thing no amazon open no this open no supermarkets no everything just closed for a, a week or two weeks cases would like stop coming up i'm being so honest but so like so like ready to risk it all for stupid stuff that it don't even make sense nba young boy fans are like so aggressive like the minute you tell an nba young boy fan that you don't like him oh my gosh it's like the end of the world like calm down sweetie nobody calm down it's my opinion calm down like they'd be ready to attack you like can you please calm down do you need some water it's so like so aggressive like calm down and if i'm looking down i'm looking down at the list tiktok is actually a really iffy app i said good on here but i wouldn't say good because yeah there was there's a lot of not a lot of racism but like there is like a racist side of tiktok so if you don't really have tiktok and you're not really like familiar with the app but some people aren't so basically what it is is you basically have a for you page and on your for you page basically with stuff that you interact with so basically if tiktok sees you like um a post about and get young boy what's gonna keep popping up on your for you page is stuff about nba young boy so basically you get to like decide what's on your for you page so obviously if you're interacting with racist stuff racist stuff is gonna come up on your for you page obviously if you're interacting with dance dance is gonna come up on your for you page if you're doing challenges in your city challenges in your city are gonna pop up so I would say just for like the fact that on my for you page, there's really just like funny stuff. Like, you know, the little TikToks with the things and then you have the little, the Twitter quotes. That's what's mostly on my for you page with just the weird music and the people just dancing to the quotes, godly stuff. So you can like really like, that's what's on my for you page and just dance really. So, my for you page is really good, and it's really funny. And, like, you could really alter, like, what's on your page. So, I have a mental eye what you want to be on. And then you have, like, stuff. You have a lot of stuff on your for you page. So, it's really about what you want and what you decide. And, basically, that's what's on your for you page. So, I, I would say just because of that, I would say it's, it's a pretty good app. Just... Watch what you interact with because that's what's going to pop up. The cancel culture is a waste of time. Don't, it's really just a waste of time because you guys will cancel a brand and then go shop with them the next day. Like, that really doesn't make sense. Like, you guys will be like, 
oh, so and so is canceled. But then two months later, post their song in your story. Be like, oh, this song is good. Fits and babes, it doesn't work. Chick fil A is actually really good. I think that's the best fast food place. And it could be just because I like chicken tenders and fries a lot. But who knows because their their food is actually really good. But there is no reason why my meal should be $30 for three people in the car, love. Now that doesn't add up. Why is my meal $30 and there's three people in the car? And it don't even be $30. That's just an estimation. It'd be expensive. Chick-fil-A is overpriced. But for the food, I would say it's not. But it is. It's so overpriced. Like, there's no reason why my food should be that expensive. Like, fix it. Next one is not everyone can be a rapper. Like, I'm so sorry. And not everybody can be a singer because just because... Your grandma tells you that you can that her grandbaby can sing don't mean her grandbaby can sing. Like I'm so sorry. Cause it's like half of y'all be sounding like, you know, my boss is VSD. If you have TikTok, you have to know that. And I think I might add this. She just want my love, so she gon' love me. I got them all white pesos on my feet. And you know my boxers PSD. I might just Bro, that song cranked right. I don't care what nobody says. But y'all cannot rap. Like, stop. And if you're the friends, why do you be telling your so called men that he can rap? Or man, he can't rap. Stop it. Why are you telling this boy he can rap? And then it be killing me when. But please don't be. I got you white faces on my feet. And you know my body is BSD. Like, come on now. You can try a little harder. <laughs> and it be the auto too for me. Like, y'all really need to be thinking y'all be doing something that that's sad. Because that's what they need. And they sing, uh, but we're not even gonna get into that because we're not even gonna get into it. So, um, very famous on my feet for me. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can get an update every time I post. And I think I'm gonna be starting the Monday and Friday upload schedule again after this video. So, whatever video I think this video will be coming up Friday the 10th or the 11th friday the 11th yeah i think this video should be coming up friday the 11th and so i think after this week i will be trying to do the the monday friday upload so tell me guys tell me what time you guys would want the friday friday monday uploads to be and comment down if you guys agreed with any of my unpopular opinions or if you disagreed and get them.